we're gonna do another massive unboxing. I have three months worth of Allure beauty boxes that we're gonna get through today. We are making a dent in that box. We need to get to the bottom of it because I need that box out of my room. I need that box in the street somewhere, uh, headed to the dump or the recycle, wherever they take big old cardboard boxes, I'm gonna need that box to be on its way. I don't know what month these are from. Let's see, happy Mother's Day, so May. Ooh, Elemis, okay, we start off with a bang. This is the Elemis Peptide Eye Recovery Cream, and this is what the box looks like. I have so many freaking eye creams, and I'm not using any of them right now because I'm pregnant. Some of the different products that you have have different ingredients that can cause abnormalities in your baby, so I've been avoiding as much as possible all the ingredients. I hate boxes like this. This was right in here, in this little pocket. What is this for? Do they put it like that so that when you pick up the box, you think you're getting more than you really are? What is the scam behind? I don't understand that. The box could have been like this and it would have been fine. This is what it looks like. No, no safety seal, but it has a little applicator like such. So we will put this off to the side and at some point in time, we're gonna bust this bad boy open and put it under these eyes. Cause y'all know I'm about to have two under two. So them bags under the eyes gonna be bad. In, and I'm probably gonna need as much eye cream as I possibly can get. The next thing that I'm pulling out of here is Wilhelm Perfume Perfumery. Perfumery. I don't know how to say that. New York? What is this? Well, obviously it's a perfume. Duh. Ooh, and it's made in France. Ooh. Okay, wee wee. This is what the box looks like. It has like a really pretty design on the side. Let's see what this is. Hopefully it don't stink. And see again. Why? This is what it looks like. I would have thought that it would come in like a glass, you know, since it's so fancy from France. It's called Poets of Berlin. Hopefully it don't stink. I don't want to have a headache at the beginning of this video. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, that smells good. It has like those sweet, spicy smells that I really like, that gourmand, okay? It has that gourmand type of scent. It smells really good. This is a win. It, it just, it smells sweet and spicy, okay? And that's how I like the smell. I like the smell delicious. Natura Ecos, is, is that what it's called? Taku, tu, Takuma, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Exfoliating shower gel. And it is a vegan product. And this is what it looks like. We got a safety seal. First safety seal of the day. It smells like your typical shower gel. Contains Amazon bioactive ingredients. Don't know what that means. That can mean anything. I will give this a try at some point in time. You know, you gotta take showers. And when we run out of the shower gel that we usually use, I could just bust that bad boy open or I could take it on trips. Like if we have to take a flight and I don't wanna use the hotel stuff and I just wanna kinda have something of my own, I might pack that. We'll see, we'll get some use out of it. And the next thing is Chris Appleton Color Wow Money Mask for Super Glossy Experience expensive looking hair. And this is what it looks like. This has to be a sample size. There's no way. Safety seal. Ooh, okay. It has like a clean linen type of smell. Next, we have the Mud Masky Midnight Hand Mask. And it's supposed to balance your pH, nourishing, firming, hydrating, revitalizing, anti-aging. And this is from France as well. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Hand mask, you mean just hand lotion? It has a nice safety seal. We love to see her. Let's see how it smells. Ooh, this is another one of those tricky products where they give you this big old tube that could have been this big. Cause see how much I'm squeezing it. Squeezing it, squeezing it, squeezing it, squeezing it. And finally, we have some products products finally coming out. It's very thin. It has a very perfumey, old lady perfumey kind of smell to it. Not my favorite, okay? Not my favorite scent. They don't feel sticky, but they feel like there's something on them. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I do have like this weird psoriasis type of thing going on with my fingers. So I might try that on my hands and see if it softens them up. The last thing in this box is the Tulip Tint in Crispa Coral. And this is a Leap and Chick Chick. Leap and Cheek, <laughs> Leap. Oh my God, what are words? Lip and Cheek Balm. Ooh, and this is the packaging. Very cute. I think that's the color. I like colors like this, okay? Colors like this look really good on my skin tone. And finally, we have a box that makes sense. Why can't the other boxes do what this box did? Like the box makes sense with the products. Ooh, the outside of this feels really fun. Like it has like a texture to it. 
yeah, this is a tulip tint. This is what it looks like. Safety seal. Usually like the things that's supposed to go on your lips and your cheeks. I usually ever only like them for one thing. Like I like them for the lips, hate them for the cheeks, or hate them for the lips, love them for the cheeks. So I'll have to give this a try at some point in time. Let's just put a little, little dabby dab and see how this blends out. Okay, that is pretty. It's very sheer. I wonder if it'll build up. Probably for like those no makeup makeup days when you just wanna put a little flush on the cheeks, something simple on the eyes and a simple lip. So I would probably use something like this for those days. Not when I'm doing a full beat like today. This would be a quick, I'm out the door. I just wanna look like I did a little something, something. I think that was a good box. For this Elemis Peptide Eye Recovery Cream, you looking at $50. This alone pays for two boxes. $50. That's a lot for some eye cream, but eye cream is usually very expensive and Elemis is a little bit luxury. Money Mask by Chris Appleton is going to be $45 for 250 mil. No, not 250 mil, 215 mil. We got 50 mil. So you'd have to do the math to figure out how much this is worth. I don't think this is worth that much. Maybe like $10? I don't know. I'm not a math girl. Next is the Bloom Effects Tulip Tint. And this is going to run you $29 for this itty bitty little thing, $29. She got some money, okay, she got some money. This Mud Masky Midnight Hand Mask is going to be $55. $55 for some hand cream. Um, this is the Natura Eco's Takuma Exfoliating Shower Gel. And this is $18 for the full size, and that's 185 milliliters. We were given 30. Math people, do your job, okay? Do your job and math it up to tell us how much this is worth. And then this is definitely a sample, but we, we already knew this. This is the Zilhem Perf Perfumery Poets of Berlin for the full size of this, which will be 50 mil, you're looking at $175. We were given five mil. I do like this perfume though. I'm not gonna lie, this is really nice, but I feel like I've seen perfume that was smelling kind of like this for less. So we're gonna go with the cheaper option. I think this is a really good box. They did their thing. I have no idea when this is from. Hopefully we got more good products in here. Okay, so this is definitely July. It has to be, cause it's very America. This box is a little tiny. It's got a little itty bitty things, but maybe they're really good products and it's just small supply. First, we have the Tula Skincare Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. See, like I said, I keep getting all these things for the eyes. Are they trying to tell me something? Is the universe trying to tell me something that I got bags under my eyes? Use under or over makeup throughout the day. Okay, a cooling sensation. I might have to try this. It comes with like a little stopper thing like that. So you get this much product and it says you can do it over makeup, but to be honest, like with something like this, I feel like it's just gonna pick up all the color from the makeup that you have on. Would I really wanna do that? Cause then it'll look dirty. I'd rather just use this on my plain skin. Now, if this feels really good, if it gives a really nice cooling sensation, I might have to just put that under there when I'm just feeling stressed out just to, just to get a little relief. So we'll try this. The next thing is by Flannery and it is a Water Lily PHA Pore Refining Exfoliator. And this is what it looks like. We have a safety seal. Oh, we got another one where you squeeze it a lot and nothing comes out. What kind of smell is that? It has that perfumey skincare smell. Not my favorite. I like things that are more herbally, you know, like eucalyptus, green tea. I love that kind of scent in my skincare or even like a citrus. Citrus is my jam when it comes to skincare. This perfumey stuff, not my favorite. The next thing is from Yves Saint Laurent and it is a blur primer. And this is definitely a little sample size. That's pretty. I don't know if you can see, but it has like little gold flakes in it. Smells funny. What does that smell? I know I've smelled this before. I can't quite put my finger on it. The little gold specks are so freaking pretty and cute and adorable. I can't figure out what that smell is though, and it's bothering me. This is the BY, is that what it is? Betternotyounger.com. Okay, better not younger. Oh, it says it right underneath it. I didn't have to, I didn't have to look at the back. It says it right there on the bottle. Wake up call volumizing conditioner. So we have a little conditioner. It just smells like regular conditioner. It doesn't have like any kind of special smell to it. It just smells like regular schmegular conditioner. Next, we have a... 
I hate when they write it in such a weird way. Biro? 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 I don't know. But that's what the brand look name looks like. And this is a golden carrot overnight relief mask. I don't like putting things on my skin overnight. So it is nice and safety sealed. I'm going to go ahead and put the cap right back on this. And we're going to pop this in a giveaway because I don't like overnight on my face. So we're just going to we're, we're going to leave that safety seal where she's at and put that in the giveaway. The final thing in here is a perfume. And this is the Malin and Goats Dark Rum. Ooh, OK. I like the way this box feels. It's just got like a slick, waxy kind of feel to it. Hopefully it smells good like those other scents that I've tried. And this is what it looks like. Hmm, that is different. Ooh, that smells good. It smells very sweet. I like that. I like that a lot. I actually, I think I like this one better than the other one. The other one is more spicy. This is just straight up sugar. Yeah, that smells good. I'm definitely gonna pop this on for date night. Okay, next time Justin decided to take me somewhere, I'm gonna bust this bad boy out. That was everything in the July box. <clears throat> uh, Zero makeup. <laughs> no makeup, all kind of like skincare, hair. Well, I guess primer technically is makeup, but nothing fun as far as like makeup goes. Nothing kind of fun with the makeup. Not my favorite. We will use most of the things that came in the box. So it's not a complete loss. The first item is the Tula Skincare Cooling. That's not what it says. Get it cooling and brightening eye balm. And this bad boy is going to run you $38. Mel Malin, I hope I'm saying that right. It goats dark rum perfume oil. And this is for full size, okay? It looks it looks full size for like a, a perfume oil. And this is gonna run you $36. I would buy this again for $36, I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna last a very long time because I don't really wear perfumes that often. Yves Saint Laurent Beauty Touch Eclat. I don't know what that means <laughs> or if I'm saying it right. Blur Primer. And this is obviously a sample size and the full size is gonna run you $56 for 30 mil and we got 10. So divide that by three. And that's how much this is worth. And this is the Biro Golden Carrot Overnight Relief Mask. And the full size is gonna be $142. Okay, $142 for 65 milliliters. And we got 10 in here. Okay, math people do your thing. The next thing is the Flannery Pore Refining Exfoliator Water Lily PHA. And this is going to run you $52. Dollars. So she expensive. Okay, she expensive, expensive. Um, <clears throat> wouldn't be me. <laughs> I'm just sorry. I'm sorry. It wouldn't be me. If I didn't get these in the box, I would never have them. I guess this was one of those things where you could get either or because it's showing that you could get the lifts me up hair thickener or the conditioner. Obviously, we ended up with the conditioner. Let's see. The conditioner is going to run you $29 for eight ounces and we got two ounces. So do your math. I mean, it's okay. I would have liked to have seen something very makeup-y, makeup -y. You know, something that'll put a little color on your skin. But I'm very happy about that perfume. The perfume alone is is worth it because it's so freaking delicious. Now let's pop into this last one. We're almost done here. Not with the full box, but with at least the Allure boxes. And this one, I think this is the heaviest out of all three. And this is the True Cream Aqua Bomb, I guess, moisturizer? Yeah, it's a moisturizer. And this is what the box is looking like. Bruh. I hate deceptive packaging, right? Like when you have deceptive packaging, even for your little sample sizes, it makes me not want to support your business. I'm sorry. Like that's where I'm standing with this. So this is what she looks like. Looks like a decent little sample size until Bam. you look and it's got a false bottom. That little pot right there, that's where your actual product is going to sit. It has like a clean scent to it. And this is what it kind of looks like. I'll use it, but I probably won't buy it because you've already done pissed me off with this false bottom bull. The next thing came a little bit open, but that's no big deal. This is the Rise Above by Floss. 
lengthening mascara. And this is what the box is looking like. Very cute, okay, very, very cute. Very stiff, very, very stiff. Smells like uh, your typical mascara. I've only tried maybe like a lip gloss from Floss. I think that's it. I think I've only tried a lip gloss from them, or maybe I didn't try it. I might've given it away, I don't know. But I know I've received floss in the past from like one of my boxes, there's so many, they started to blend together. The next thing is from Earth Harbor, it is the Tidal Rose Seaweed Hydration Mist. Rose water, oh wait, rose water isn't bad. Rose fragrance is disgusting, it gives me a headache. This is rose water and red seaweed. And this is what the outer box is looking like. I usually like Earth Harbor stuff. Earth Harbor stuff is pretty, pretty nice. I have a mask from them. It does the job. <laughs> it does the, the job without burning me. And this is what she looks like. Ooh, okay. I guess you could just spray this to just try to like feel good and maybe relax. I don't know. The next thing is from Face Reality and it is the Barrier Balance Creamy Cleanser Daily Calming Wash Acne Safe. Is this for your face or is this for your body? This is huge. <laughs> if this is a cleanser for your face, that is huge. Safety seal, we love to see her. Okay, now this one, this is what I'm talking about. As soon as I squeeze it, products come out. And this has a really clean skincare scent to it. Nothing too crazy. It smells fresh. If you're not gonna give me the eucalyptus or rosemary or, you know, those kind of scents, then at least give me a scent that is clean and fresh. The next thing is the Ingrown Hair Bikini Patch Extracts and Fades Dark Spots. Okay, so I guess this is for your ingrown hairs around your bikini, bikini bottom. I'm big pregnant, so I can't even see down there. I don't know what's going on in the nether regions of Sandra Fe. I have no idea. That'll be really good because I do get I do get ingrown hairs sometimes. We'll try it out. I won't tell you about it probably because that's you know it's a little too personal for you, girl. Usually patches don't work for me. Pimple patches, I hate them. They never work. So I'm a little skeptical if this will actually get rid of ingrown hairs, but I will see and maybe I'll let you know. I don't know. This is a little too personal. And this is from Christoph Robin and this is a delicate volumizing conditioner with ro ooh, rose, rose extracts. And this is for your hair. So that's why it is humongous. Let's see. I want to see if it smells like rose. Okay, it, it does smell a little bit like rose, but nothing too crazy. It has a very slight rosy scent to it. Packaging is super cute. I love this very soft pink. That is just like, this is this is so pretty. I love that pink. The Bella just woke up from her nap. And she's on straight up baby time. Yeah, nothing too exciting in that box. Honestly, I'm not excited about any of those items. Usually, I love the Allure boxes, usually. This time around, it was just a little bit boring. So the first item, and I'm guessing this is the signature or the featured item, which is this Christoph Robin from Petty. And the conditioner is $45. The next thing, and I'm gonna read up on this because I'm a little bit, little bit confused. This is the Face Reality Barrier Balance Creamy Cleanser. Okay, so yes, this is for your face. This is a lot. And this, retails at $35, okay? $35 for this huge thing of cleanser. The next thing in here is the Floss Beauty Rise Above Lengthening Mascara. And obviously this is full size and it's gonna run you $22. Hopefully it does $22 worth of lifting. The next item is the Earth Harbor Tidal Rose Crystal Hydration <laughs> Oh, it's a toner, because it doesn't say toner on here at all. The full size is worth $16, and that's 60 mil. We got 20 mil, so 16 divided by three. And now for our false bottom belief, the True Cream Aqua Bomb Moisturizer. And the full size is gonna run you $38 for 50 mil, and they gave us 10 mil right here. So divide 38 by five. And last and probably least is the Phase It Ingrown Hair Bikini Patch. So this one is going to run you $19.99 for 12 patches. So basically times this by two as a part of like as amount of product. You get six patches here. So this is about $10. And that was everything in my three months of Allure boxes. Like I said in a previous video, I will resub, but I'm going to wait until they have a box that I'm just like, I got to have it. Until then, I'll just coast. Because I looked at October and I was like, eh, I don't really want any of that stuff. 
All right, baby girl said the video is over. So I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a baby. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.